More and more in recent times, I've found myself wanting a more tactile experience from my photography and not just letting the camera be on autopilot. And honestly, it's one of the reasons I love Fujifilm so much, from their manual dials and just the overall tactile nature of how their cameras are set up. I've always liked the idea of trying to incorporate shooting with some vintage adapted film lenses with my Fuji X-T3. I love imperfections and character within my work and it's something I see so, so often in these older lenses, both for photography and film. And I really like the idea of using an older manual lens to further enhance this tactile experience. And then I started thinking, how do I go about picking a vintage lens? And I wanted something deeper than just going on eBay and picking one at random. And then I started to speak to my younger brother and he mentioned that he had our father's old camera and lens from when we were growing up that we used to capture memories from Christmas, birthdays and holiday adventures. And I'm the kid at the front with the cool Batman tattoos. And this felt like a really lovely connection and a way to utilise a lens that hadn't taken a single photograph since our early childhood years. And this is the Helios 44M-4. Looking online and doing some research, I discovered a few things. This lens is loved by filmmakers the world over for its unusual characteristics and imperfections. And it's known for its crazy swirly bokeh which isn't really for me and my style of photography, but I was really excited to take this lens out and give it a new lease of life with my Fuji X-T3. Something else interesting I found out about the lens is the serial number on the back of the lens denotes its year that it was made. The first two digits apparently show its year and mine was from 1982. So not only was I super excited to try out this lens, both for photography and video, but something I started to think about with this lens being my father's was this idea of family and their connection out on the street. It's not something I've gravitated towards noticing, but throughout my time with this lens, it was at the forefront of my mind while I was out making pictures. So from here on out, all of the photography and film that I captured using the Helios 44M-4. Welcome to life, work and dreams. This is Helios. One of the first things that took my breath away with this lens was when I shot my first sequence of video. I love the compression and the overall presence it gives to each frame. Interestingly, the footage straight from camera had a very torn down, almost log-like quality. But once I found a color grade I was happy with, it really brought the footage to life. I really love the analog digital shooting experience with the Helios. It's a nice change to my usual approach to digital photography. Something I discovered was accepting that I wouldn't hit focus with every shot. I think we can take for granted how quick and simple autofocus has made this part of photography. But even some of the shots where I haven't quite nailed focus have a really interesting character to them. This one here though, I totally missed focus and it's a shame because it's such an interesting and busy frame. But overall, this process really made going out and shooting a nice reset for my head and a new appreciation for the skill of always hitting focus with a manual lens.
I really love this shot of the girl and her grandma. There is such a lovely warmth to the moment. And it's this kind of human connection and emotion that makes me truly love street photography. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, at the forefront of my mind, I had this idea about family and the subtle connections we all have, whether it's similar dress, mirroring of gestures, and I just had lots of fun looking for these kind of family connections during my time out with this lens. And it's something I really want to expand on more and more in my work in the future. Another frame I really enjoyed is this busy street scene. I really love the light here and just the total feel of summer. And with the guy on his bike going in the only direction he's instructed not to. In the busy high street, there was this guy selling balloons. I spent a bit of time here trying to capture an interesting interplay between the balloons and the people walking past. Whether that was them being obscured by the balloons or an interesting interaction with them. I really like this frame with the sea of eyes of the characters locking eyes with the camera and the woman in the bottom left mirroring this, looking slightly less enthusiastic than SpongeBob though. Overall, I really enjoyed the experience of using adapted vintage lenses on my X-T3 and giving some new life to my dad's Helios lens. And you can pick these up relatively cheaply with, along with a converter. But I think the thing that blew me away the most was seeing it with video. And I love the look it gave some of the scenes I showed today and something that will remain in my camera bag from now on. I'd love to know what you guys think. Is there any vintage lenses that you think I should try? I honestly, I've really got the itch to use more of these adaptive lenses. So any recommendations would be awesome. Thank you.